Additional streaming servers are not available. Please try again later. Would be the words you would be hearing were you not listening to Blue Please on WoW Radio with its crashing internet. It is fine. The internet is, as I've been told, a series of tubes. I'm sure it can handle it. Right. Now, we have started a debate, so we shall get on with said debate. Yes, we will. Mm-hmm. Now, 1025 months. The subject has been raised. The bar has been set. So let's talk about 25 mans. Try and find out just what exactly is going on with those things. Right, 10 and 25 mans. This is a big issue, in my opinion. And the reason it's a big issue is because when the idea first came around, I had some concerns about whether or not it would be implemented correctly. And as it usually does turn out, I unfortunately was correct. I wish I wasn't, you know. I don't wish these kind of things upon people. But sadly, that's what it ended up being. Now, let's have a look back at the older instances. The the way that they used to do it. Now, of course, you had two kinds. Well, you technically had three kinds of raiding in original WoW. You had the 15 to 10 man, which was, of course, UBRS, post and pre-nerf. Not necessarily in that order. We also had 20 mans, and then we had 40 mans. Now, the 40 mans and the 15 man were what were in there originally. You had Anixia, you had Molten Core, and you had UBRS. Those were your three raids. Now, Blackwing Lair came out, and they also brought out Zulgarub. Zulgarub was a easier instance to some degree, and it was designed for 20 people because there were concerns that 40 people was excessive and that getting that many people online at any given time could be tricky, particularly when you were scheduling a raid that would likely last for at least four hours, probably more. And of course their concerns were, to most degrees, correct in that regard. So they brought out 20 man. Now, this 20 man was tuned way under, mostly at any rate, the current content. However, I think there's a perception that they actually ended up tuning it over Molten Core because of the way the gear is. now. You've just got to bear in mind that the item level of the gear in Zulgarub versus Molten Core is pretty similar in most respects. Some of it isn't, some of it is. However, the gear in Zulgarub was better itemized. So that kind of skews the view of difficulty that you can have in comparing, say, Molten Core to Zulgarub. Now, of course, later on we had AQ20, which was more difficult in some places, but pretty much about on par with Zulgarub. There were a few items that were certainly a little bit better. And the item level was slightly higher, but mostly the gear was kind of on par with Zulgarub level stuff. Now, Blackwing Lair onwards was pretty much uniformly better than anything that you could get in Zulgarub or AQ20. And that was the way it was. The difficult raids were 40 mans, and the not so difficult raids were 20 mans. Let's have a look at TBC. TBC, of course, changed it to 10 and 25. They felt that 40 was too many. There were outcries that perhaps. Raids would not be so epic anymore, but evidently they did end up being pretty epic regardless. So I can forgive them for that. Blizzard were right. I will give them that particular piece of kudos. Now, 10 and 25. What do you have? You had your Karazhan. You then had your Gruul. You then had your Magtheridon. You then had your SSC. You then had your TK. You didn't have another 10 man, indeed, until before Sunwell, as I recall. Now it was with Zulaman. Now, Zulaman item loot was better. It was a higher level than Karazans in pretty much all respects. However, the instance was also more difficult than Karazan in almost all respects. Was it better? Than, was it more difficult than anything else? Well, I'd say that it was more challenging than stuff like Void Reaver and parts of SSC. But then again, the difficulty in a lot of TBC, at least pre Hygel and Blackwing Lair. Sorry, Blackwing Lair. What am I talking about? Black Temple. A lot, lot of black in WoW. A lot of black and evil and ah, and darkness and heretics and monsters and Sindri! Anyway. The level of difficulty was a little bit inconsistent in between SSC and TK. And quite a few of the encounters in Zulaman ended up being better uh, well, I certainly say better. More difficult than some of the stuff that was in those instances. And you wouldn't have thought that that should be the case, but it ended up being that way. Now, Zulaman had some quality loot. It really did. It had loot that was 
better than SSC, better than TK in many respects. Not all of it, some of it. You were looking at items, say, like the caster dagger and caster sword were better than the equivalent items in SSC. And they were better than the equivalent items in TK. Up to, perhaps, the Nexus Key, which was the staff off of the final boss, which, of course, was therefore a higher item level than the rest of the instance. And you had a look at that difficulty, and you're like, hmm, this is pretty interesting. And, of course, it had the optional hard mode, as you know. You were able to do it faster, run the gauntlet, get extra loot. Now we get to Wrath, where we have 10 and 25 mans. Every raid that we have, as you're well aware, has a 10 and 25 man version. And we have a situation where we really don't know where we're at. Now some people would argue that a 10 man version of an instance is naturally going to be easier. However, as proven with, say, Sartharian 3 Drakes with 10 people, and indeed to some degree Malagos with 10 people, that is not true. With Malagos having done both of them, I would say that Malagos 10 is on a par, difficulty-wise, with Malagos 25. And most people say, have not done it yet, will do it probably this week, if I manage to get on for that particular raid, since our guild is doing Sartharian 3 Drakes, and has already in fact killed Sartharian 3 Drakes. But Sartharian 3 Drakes and 10 man is harder than on 25 man, simply because of the way the mechanics mesh together, and the number of players that you have, and you cannot have everyone screwing up in a 10 man. Now the question is, bearing in mind that 10 man loot is universally worse than 25 man loot, which is the way to go? Do we want a situation where 10 mans are simpler and give lesser level loot? Or do we want a situation where 10 mans are separate but equal and give equivalent level loot but are simply designed for less people? Now that is a great question. Now some people would argue that this is kind of already the case. The difference between 10 and 25 man loot while marked is not ridiculous, at least in most respects. There are, of course, some items that do shirk that particular trend. I am wearing some of them, and I am very pleased to be doing so. But the difference between, say, Tier 7 and Tier 7.5, they both have the same set bonus, as we're well aware. And item level differences are marked, but not major. And more importantly, the difference in stats is not major. Let's do some comparison, shall we? Let's open up some Wowhead and go check it out. Let's go and have a look at my favorite class, the Mage. Let's go read about Frostfire Gear and do a little bit of comparison. And then perhaps we can come to a conclusion as to whether or not the current balance is correct. Well, it would seem that there are pop-ups on Wowhead for Party Poker, and they really need to get that sorted out. Now, let's have a look at these. The Heroes Frostfire Gloves versus the Valorous Frostfire Gloves. Here are the stats for the Heroes. This is the Tier 7 version. 57 stamina for 51 intellect, a red socket, 33 hit. 48 crit and 59 spell power versus the Valorous Frostfire Gloves, which is 64 stamina, 57 intellect, red socket, 38 hit, 53 crit, and 69 spell power. That's a difference of 10 spell power. That is a difference of 5 crit. That is a difference of 5 hit. That is a difference of some stamina that no one really cares about, and 6 intellect. That is the difference between them. And the item level on there is not showing. Oh, there it is. 213 versus 200. That's the item levels. Tier 7 is item level 200, whereas tier 7.5 is item level 2.75. What? No, it isn't. Two, item level 2.75 would be like the worst item ever. It's item level 213. Now, is that a big enough difference? Is that balanced? Well, I don't think most would argue that, say, 10-man Nax is harder than 25 man next because it isn't. It's not. There are marked differences, there are a lot of nerfs to particular aspects of the raid which make it easier. But what about Malagas and what about Sartharian? Sartharian 10 versus Sartharian 25 with no drakes is pretty much the same fight. Almost identical in every respect. Yet the loot that is given from Sartharian 10 is obviously worse than Sartharian 25. Now that indicates a balance issue there. It's a bit of a mixed set of signals that were being given. 
Now, my understanding, and please do try and correct me if I'm wrong on this one, was that the idea behind having 10 and 25 man versions of every instance was not to give an easy and a hard version. Indeed, they have demonstrated that they can do that with the same number of players, i.e. normal and heroic. They don't need 10 and 25 mans, of course, one of which being two and a half times the size of the other, in order to show a difficulty difference. That is not actually needed, it's not required. The idea, as far as I could see, at least this is what I would have done, is to make 10 and 25 separate but equal. There are guilds, and there are people, there are a sizable chunk, in my opinion, of people, that either prefer or are forced to raid in 10-man groups. Some people prefer it. Indeed, Kikijiki's guild, Why So Serious, re runs 10-mans exclusively. And the claim is that they prefer that. They prefer raiding with a smaller group of people, there is less drama, there is more focus on individual skill, as opposed to being able to slack off in a 25-man. It's more personal, you get to do it with friends. Getting together 9 friends isn't that hard. Getting together 24 friends, that's a little bit trickier. So some would argue that the 10-man playstyle should be separate but equal to the 25-man playstyle. Now I suppose the question is, can they balance it correctly? Now, whether or not that's true would come down to whether or not you believe that Sartharian Three Drakes was a fluke and perhaps is, at least in the 10-man version, overtuned at this current time. Does it demonstrate their ability to design a hard 10-man encounter, or did they simply accidentally overbuff the encounter, overtune the encounter, and is it indeed too hard for its particular level? Or perhaps you believe that 10-mans should always be lesser. They should always be easier than the 25-man version. They should always give less loot. It's a very difficult call to make. Because some people will make the argument that, yes, raiding with 25 people and getting together 25 people should yield better loot, because it is a more challenging process. And yes, on a logistical perspective, it is. You can look at the same argument that's been used to prevent, say, single players, solo players, from getting equivalent loot to raiders. And indeed, I support that argument. It doesn't matter how long you labor away a particularly repetitive task, it does not in any way, shape or form replace or simulate the difficulty of a raid encounter. That's why raiders get raid level loot, and that's why solo players don't. Because it doesn't matter. You can times the amount of work by 25, you can times the amount of work by 50, 100, 200. Same argument that people made when they said, let me exchange my badges of heroism for badges of valor. Same argument that was made, and of course the response from the same people was no. You may not do this because you have not got to that level of content. It doesn't matter how many hero, hero sorry, normal level dungeons you've done. It doesn't matter how many heroics you've done. You are not at 25 man level content. You have not done 25 man level content. You have not organized 25, uh, 24 of the people to raid with you. You have not faced the challenges of 25 man content, which of course unfortunately is a little bit awful at the moment, but that is soon to change. Come old war, we certainly hope. Therefore, you do not deserve that level of loot. Now, can the same argument be applied to those who merely raid 10 mans as opposed to 25? I am split and I am torn on this issue, and I am going to ask for your emails on it. And we shall be continuing this particular piece of discussion and revisiting it throughout the rest of the show, assuming my internet doesn't crash again. Email themolok at gmail.com that is the Murloc at gmail.com. Which side do you fall on? Do you fall on the separate but equal? That believes that perhaps 10 man should be equal in difficulty and loot to 25 mans? Or do you fall on the side of easy and hard? Normal and heroic. That believes that 10 mans should be easier and give lesser level loot than 25 mans? Or perhaps are you somewhere in between? I would like to know. I'd like to see a cross section of opinion because this is a very difficult topic. However, what I will say is this, and this I can say with no hint of uncertainty in my mind, and that is that Blizzard needs to make its mind up one way or the other. Because right now it is a mixed bag of ridiculous. Either you have separate but equal, or you have easy and hard. Now I do not believe personally that you need easy and hard anymore if you're going to be putting hard mode into dungeons. But then again, we don't know what that's going to entail. We don't know how difficult that's really going to be. And it simply might be overtuned for some people. Who knows? So yes. Let me know. Let's hear a cross-section and see if maybe we can decide for them. 
on the roll of 10 versus 25 man raid encounters. My name is Tolt Biscuit, and you are listening to Blue Please here on WoW Radio. I am going to play you some Night Rage. It's a condemned club, which I assume is a little bit different to a condemned mace. I'll be right back after this, folks. You're listening to WoW Radio on WCRadio.com. Enjoy. Enjoy. 